welcome to my corner. Woo! Welcome to my corner. Let's have a talk now. Uh -huh. From Miami to California. Yeah. Check your girl out. I'm gonna give it to you straight up. That's right. That's right. Keeping it real. No things inside. Welcome to my corner, y'all. What up, everybody? Welcome back to the corner. It is I, your girl C. How you doing? How your mama doing? Everybody doing all right? Welcome to the corner. Okay, so we, um, y'all, it's been a long time since I've shaken the table. I've been on my best behavior. I personally feel like, like, we haven't been shaking tables in the corner, and I'm known to shake a table if you are not, you know what I'm saying? Um, but this was a topic I wanted to talk about a long time ago, but every time I would go to make the video, I would forget. That was some thunder. I think Jesus is trying to tell me to stop. But Lord, they're going to get this word. They're going to get this word. <laughs> Amen. Um, so there is this post. It has been going viral on Facebook and Instagram. And I think I've shared it at least 10 times. Um, here's the post. Okay, so the post says, If only the church would prepare the men to be husbands as much as they strive to prepare women to be wives. Okay, I have never agreed with something so much more in my life. Okay, let me explain something to y'all. I am a pew baby, okay? That means I grew up in the church. Y'all already know my lineage, okay? My parents are the church. The family is the church. Archbishops down to the deacons, my family. Got it, grew up in church, okay? Um, and ever since I was a kid, um, I've always been taught what's ladylike and what's this and what's that. I mean, don't get me wrong. My dad has put emphasis on what a husband should be to my brothers, but it's not preached into the pulpit. Not specifically in his church, but I'm just saying in general. Like, I've visited other church besides my parents, be clear. Um, and we don't preach much emphasis on the men, but we put a lot of emphasis on the women, which I find to be really ridiculous, but we're going to talk about it. Okay, so um, let's talk about it. Okay, so I don't know. Okay, I'm non-denominational, okay? That means we don't do all that extra stuff. We baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay? You got that? Um, we don't do the whole head scarf of covering your head like women can't be preachers. That's not what we're doing. But I do know in some denominations, um, women don't preach from the pulpit. I think it's apostolic and kojic, I think. Like, they don't believe in, like, women bishops. They believe in, like evangelist like a woman a woman can be an evangelist quote me if, uh, correct me if i'm wrong all right just correct me if i'm wrong don't get up here being nasty but correct me if i'm wrong um and so they also believe in like holiness like women wear long long scarves and um skirts and if you are a woman and you wear like a short skirt you got to wear a lap scarf over your skirt because you can't cause men to sin instead of teaching men stop to stop lusting you just cover us up that's just the way it's been um okay so sis sisters Men, I, I, I want everybody to hop up in here and let's debate because I think this is going to get some people free. Um, how many sermons have you heard about singleness and waiting? And the only scripture we're talking about is Proverbs 31 and what a Proverbs 31 woman is doing while she's waiting or what it takes to be a Proverbs 31 woman before you get married. And um, emphasis on Proverbs 31 woman. Okay. Emphasis on Ruth and Boaz. Always emphasis on that. Um, the sp like, have you ever heard a sermon where the man needs to operate in the spirit of a husband no shade to who but have you ever heard a sermon where we're specifically speaking to men and it goes viral and it's talking about what he needs to do to be a husband and and what he must be and how he must serve and all that do you see a lot of sermons like that no don't you see a lot of sermons though on women most books about singleness are about women and how you should wait and um how you need to be everything before you meet him and, and which is fine i think everybody should be whole but I, I i'm gonna be i'm gonna go out on a limb and say this i think most of the relationships are failing not because of women but because of men i don't think men are prepared to be husbands i don't we can argue if y'all want but i personally think um it's not women like it's not it's these men they don't know what a husband entails like most people just think a husband's job is to go home and, you know, provide the, the food for the, for the woman to cook up. You know what I'm saying? You just take care of your household. But there is more to being a husband than there is. Like, he got the hardest job, not me. The wife, my job is just to align with him, right? But most of us can't align because these men don't know where they're going and the church ain't teaching them. Oop! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to shake your role. There's a hindrance on your role. You guys keep teaching what women need to be as wives, but 
you you forget to teach the men and so we're ready to get married and we get married to men who aren't ready and what happens are with the divorce rate goes through the roof we got problems like for example do you know <clears throat> the husband's job is to provide protect okay he's supposed to be a priest he's supposed to be able to cover everybody spiritually half these jokers don't even know how to pray all right when trouble come and they shaking their family it be the woman in the war room talking about robo -ba 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 -shi -di speaking in tongues he don't know what he doing I don't know what he's doing, so. And so, it's the woman taking <laughs> the kids to church, praying and fasting for their family. The men don't know what they're doing. They, they never know what to do. Um, but, once again, the sermons are on what I must do as a wife. How I need to be able to sew and cook and clean and serve my man like a king and be submissive. But he ain't got no plan, so what am I submitting to? You see what I'm saying? Like, all my life. I have been taught of what a woman is supposed to do while she's single, how she should be. And then I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm all that. But these jokers is not ready. So I don't want to date none of these people in the church. And the other thing is like, I think people think when you're a man of God, a mighty man of valor, they, these men are athlete. They don't know what they are. Mighty men of valor. So we automatically assume because he's a man of the church, he's a good man. And I'd be like, F boys live in a church too. Like, let's not... Let's not excuse the fact <laughs> that men in the church can be the most trash human beings as well. Like, I want you to read the Bible. Some of them men was trash. They had like 15 wives. One man killed a homeboy. Who was it? David. When Bathsheba was taking a whole bath up there, he started lusting. They had her husband killed so that could be his wife. They've been trash since biblical days. They've been trash. Okay? Like... And we still keep putting emphasis on what we must be, what Ruth was before she found Boaz, but no emphasis on what he needs to be as a man. Like in general, you always sit down the woman when it comes to relationships, like someone having a baby out of wedlock. Most of the time, it be with the musicians, right? But the musicians get to keep playing. It's the woman that's sitting down at the choir because she's showing. It's proof of the sin. She got to sit down. I just want to know at what point do we put a little bit of energy and emphasis on these men because they're the ones that's lagging, not us. Honestly, it's not the women who aren't ready. It's the men. Like, that's why I don't mind when people say they're looking outside, outside out, outward of the church. I don't mind. I'll be like, girl, get, do your thing. Like, I personally have dated men outside the church and I've been treated better than in my whole life than with the clowns in the church. Have you ever tried to talk to a guy in the church? It's miserable. First of all, he... It's just so much. Like, sir, you don't know what you want to be. And until you know, get out of my way. And they think it's like a miss. It's just, it's just, I just want us to, to make it equal, okay? I want you to stop preaching what a single woman must be and the spirit of a wife and, you know, what we, you need to be ready and da 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 da, -da and no sheets and you need to be this. But then I'm all these things. And one, these guys don't choose us. Or two, he's not ready. So, like, I'm 26, right? I got my own place. I got my own job. I take care of myself. Spiritually, I'm being, I'm whole. I'm everything I'm supposed to be, right? But the clowns that I'm meeting that are my age aren't whole. I'm leading them spiritually, which is really blowing me. I'm like, do you read your Bible? Like, you grew up in church, but you didn't read your Bible till when? When you start reading your Bible? Oh, all right. Um, when trials come, it's me reminding them of their faith. It's me telling them to go back to the word. Most of the time, it should be the other way around. I got the vision. They don't. So, literally, it's like, oh, that's a great vision. I'm just going to lie. That ain't how it works. But nobody's teaching them how to be a husband. So, at what point? <sighs> Help me to understand. Like, church folk, at what point is y'all going to start having seminars on what it takes to be a husband? Sign these jokes up. Husband 101. Because it's not just women. It's men, too. We need to put emphasis on both. Both need to be together like if you're gonna preach from ruth and boaz right we'll talk about what boaz had a job some money like if you're gonna say single woman you need to be like ruth to get your boaz make sure you emphasize to men what boaz was he had a job okay he had a job he had some money okay he had a vision for his kingdom they ain't got nothing like come on that's all i'm saying make it equal sir just saying just saying bro i'm trying to get y'all free like the women over here they be going through because they think they're not good enough and i'm like sis you got it it ain't you boo move around find your man elsewhere <laughs>
gone. So what y'all think? Am I am I tripping? Because I personally think I'm not. Um, most of the men that I know who are men of the church are trash. Okay, I have men friends that go to church and they're trash. I would never date them ever in my life. Ever. I don't want them. And they'd be like, Candace, you know why you don't date me? Have you seen yourself in the way you treat women? I don't want nothing you got. No, no, thank you. Um, let's have a discussion because I'm intrigued because apparently when I shared the post, people were triggered. But I was like, nah, y'all don't get this freedom. You're going to get free today. I'm coming for everybody because it's not just women. It's men too. The divorce rate isn't just because of women. It's because of... Get yourself together. Everybody need to be together before they become a spouse. That's just the reality of it. Not just me. Whew. Anyways, we'll be back in the corner next week. Y'all have a great, great day. All right? Mind your business and drink your water. And stay in your lane. And prepare thine.